how to do light painting with your Sony a6000. Let's find out. What is good YouTube, it's that one camera guy back at it again with another video for you. In this tutorial guide for beginners, I'm gonna show you how to use long exposure, a slow shutter speed, and some lights to do light painting. Now it's not for experts and people who are, are seasoned veterans. These are for people who are just wanting to get started and wanna know how to do it with their Sony Alpha 6000. Let's go ahead and check it out, so stay tuned. If you're new to my channel and you're finding it for the first time, I go by that one camera guy. I make videos, tutorials, guides, and reviews on the Sony mirrorless system. If you'd like to catch the latest content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell when I produce content every single week on my channel. And my old subscribers, you know what to do, go ahead and hit that like button and let's go ahead and get started. Here's what you're gonna need for this tutorial. One, a mirrorless camera like the Sony a6000. I'll be showing settings particular to this camera. Um, I also recommend a wide angle lens. This is the 10 to 18 Sony, but you really don't need this one. You could probably use your 16 to 50 kit lens and that should work just fine. You're gonna need some sort of tripod or some way to stabilize the camera so that it is not moving throughout this process. I have a gorilla pod here with me. You could use a tripod, like I said, uh, again, anything that will keep the camera steady will work just fine. And finally, um, you're going to need to use some sort of flashlight or light source. And so your smartphone or phone will be very good. Just need to be able to have access to the actual light on your phone. And that's all you pretty much need. So a little bit about the light painting process. The concept is pretty simple. We're going to use something called a long exposure. In other words, when we take a photograph, we want the, the shutter to stay open for a longer period of time. In other words, it's gonna let a lot of light into our photograph. So we need to tweak our camera settings to allow us to make this process happen. And so the challenge is figuring out what those settings should be. Now, the biggest factor is determining how much time do you need to actually paint the scene. So that's gonna be important to us. What I'm gonna do is set up our shot for a five second shutter. Now, some people will use longer shutter times that will give them more time for light painting. I'm just gonna show you the basic concept and you can always build from that. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I set my camera to manual mode. I want full control over the exposure. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to letter M. And the way that I change the settings is something I covered in a user manual guide. And the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and tweak our settings, our shutter speed first. That's gonna be the first thing we change. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my shutter speed to five seconds, as we mentioned earlier. That's gonna give us five seconds of our ability to, to paint. And then I'm gonna keep my ISO at 100, keep it low. And then if you can take a look at the exposure right now, this is kind of how the, the shot's gonna look. So it is a bit underexposed, but um, that's pretty much it. You're all set to go. Um, some tips, you can actually manual focus the lens if you want to. And, or you can use um, you can use um, autofocus if it works for you. If it doesn't, manual focusing will work the best. But yeah, that's the basic settings that we want. Something I wanted to point out is if you wanted this picture to be darker, just go ahead and increase your aperture value as much as you want. And again, you can control sort of what you see back there. And if it's still too bright, what you can do is get an ND filter. So for example, if you wanted for ex for example here, if you wanted a 10 second shutter, if you take a look. Now we're at 10 seconds. Let's say we wanted 20 seconds. What ends up happening is the picture gets brighter as we do this, um, but five seconds is a good starting point. So we're gonna go here and we'll set our aperture to F16 and we can always change it later and play around with the settings. So this next step is nothing complicated. We're just gonna go ahead and mount the camera to our little mini tripod here. I'm gonna set it to the floor and kinda of try and pre-focus at a certain location. So what I am doing right now is I am trying to set this up so I have a wider shot because basically I want to give myself enough room in order to um, move around, but I'm not going to move around in this particular shot here. I'm going to go ahead and set my camera to DMF, direct to manual focusing. I'm going to pre-focus in a certain spot. There we go. And then switch to manual focusing, I guess. And that's it. We're, we're almost there. The next step is to just position myself as best as possible in the spot that I want to focus on and just do the light painting process. So, okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the picture. 
and there we have it. Uh, we get a little bit of this uh, motion in the lighting. It's pretty simple to do. Now, if you're doing this process solo, something that you can do is actually get yourself a uh, shutter, uh, a wireless shutter remote. And I'll go ahead and link this stuff in the description below. And you can use this to trigger your actual, your Sony a6000 so you don't actually have to be uh, running into the scene or anything like that. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. Okay, so to, to add the remote feature on your Sony a6000, you're gonna go ahead and jump to tab six, which is the utility box, and then go to page three and scroll down to remote control and make sure it's turned on. When that's turned on, you're gonna be able to access and trigger it, I think via infrared, I think is the way it works. So let's go ahead and show it in practice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in position. I have the shutter device here. I'll get my phone ready. And it's really important I get the light ready to go. I am gonna be listening to the shutter button or the shutter sound. So I'll go ahead and point it. Here we go. Okay, I heard the photo finished and I'll check it right now. And that's it, that's all you need to know to do light painting with your Sony a6000. It's actually really, really simple. Um, you just need your camera with some manual controls. I do recommend a slightly wider lens, a gorilla pod or a tripod and your phone's light and a basic understanding of changing your manual exposure controls on your camera. Now, if you're curious about any of the items I mentioned, check the description below to go ahead and check it out. Now, if you got value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and make sure you check out the rest of my content. And with that said, I'm your host, Dalwin Camera Guy, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.